warning. This is an opinion-based motherfucking video, nigga. This is my motherfucking opinion and my motherfucking opinion alone. If you are easily offended or you a little ass bitch, this is not the video for you. Therefore, you should exit now. Love Shackamania. First up is Denzel Curry. See, I believe Denzel Curry is very, very underrated. He has a very unique style in a generation where a lot of rappers sound the same. His sound is very authentic. And he has the music that can appease to the both the younger crowd and the older crowd. And meaning by that, he has the hype music to appease to today's generation of hip hop listeners. And he has the lyrical content to appease to both old heads and hip hop snobs like myself. An example of this will be songs like Ultimate or Sumo. So not only is he giving you banger tracks, he's giving you lyrical content as well. And it's actually refreshing to see a rapper from Florida that isn't complete fucking dog shit. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for this next person, but I honestly believe Excess Tentacion is a decent rapper. Let's take a moment to put all the fuck shit that he does to the side and let's focus more on the rap shit that he does. And overall, he's pretty decent. Yeah, a lot of the tracks he comes out with is kind of fucking questionable, but some of them are pretty enjoyable. I'm not going to lie to you. Young Brats, R.I.P. Roach, Bitch I'm Up, Red Light. Those are, that's my fucking shit. I love those tracks. I like to categorize his music as like thrash rap. Like thrash metal, but rap. He doesn't only make this type of crazy ass, hype ass music. He actually makes some genuinely heartfelt shit. And that's one of the things I like about him. He can be very diverse. He can make you a track like Look At Me and then turn around and make a track like Jocelyn Flores. It's very diverse and that's one of the things I like about him. Say what you want, but I fuck with the kid. If he just stay out of the controversy and stop doing dumbass fucking shit, he can be bigger than what the fuck he already is. It is very difficult to explain the style of Danny Brown. One word I will use to describe his music is unorthodox, but I don't mean that in a negative way. Danny Brown reminds me of ODB. If I had to say it, I would say Danny Brown is the modern day ODB, you know? And you know, I don't really like comparing old school rappers to new school rappers because you'll never get anywhere with that, but that's a way of describing his style. But regardless of that, Danny Brown is a very unique artist. You will not hear anyone sound like him. No one will replicate that sound. When you hear that fucking voice, you instantly know that's fucking Danny Brown. And as far as his music is very in your face, it's very grimy, but it's like, it's like I said, it's very hard to explain Danny Brown's music. It's just, it's unorthodox. It's unorthodox. You can't really explain it. It's just, it's good unorthodox though, is what I'm trying to get at. And I have a lot of friends who don't really listen to Danny Brown. I have people I know who don't li really listen to Danny Brown like that. Personally, I feel like Danny Brown has a very crazy charm to his music like it, it's like it's like an acquired taste it's not bad it's just that for some odd reason people can't get into it some people complain about his voice but i think that really adds to his music montana of 300 is one of the best rappers to come out of chicago his lyricism punchline bars flow all that shit is just fucking insane but the best of his music comes within his freestyles as opposed to his own music, which really doesn't hold up. And I'm not dissing, I'm saying he makes bad music, but it's not, you know, it doesn't hold up to the, the, the crazy freestyles he drops. Some of his music is, you know, mediocre or okay at best. It's, like I said, it, personally, it's probably me. I'm, I might be the only one who feel this way, but I feel that a lot of this, his strong points come within his freestyles. Like again, his high point was that Chirac freestyle. But nonetheless, Montana 300 is one of the best to come out of Chicago, especially in a place where a lot of people try to copy off Chief or they're just copying off the hottest drill trend that's in Chicago at the moment. Next up is Slump God Ski Mask. I mean, come on now, this guy freestyle while homegirl was getting her shit blown out in the background. That takes some crazy ass concentration. I can't even finish schoolwork half of the time without having a certain urge to beat my fucking meat. But in all seriousness, Slump God Ski Mask is a rapper some people would consider trash. For why, I do not know. This guy has talent. He can rap his ass off. He's not the greatest lyricist, but his punchlines and his delivery is something to be fucked with. And I like the way he pays homage to old 2000s rappers. Like, he samples a lot of Missy Elliott beats and a lot of old Timberland beats. And I don't like bringing up flows in hip-hop because I believe that's like a basic thing to know and do. But I really enjoy the way Slump God Ski Mask flows on his tracks. 
Also, I believe when he raps with X, he brings out the best in him because a lot of the best tracks from X are with Slum God Ski Mask. But going back to his flow, yeah, his flow is pretty good, but I think that can also be a negative thing because sometimes it becomes very repetitive in his songs. But overall, I think Slum God Ski Mask makes some pretty catchy ass music with some bars, a banging ass beat, and a crazy ass flow to follow behind it. Now this next one is kind of cheating because j rock has been out for a while now, but you can still consider him to be one of the best of today's generation. j rock never disappoints and he's very consistent with his music. Besides Kendrick, I think j rock is one of the most consistent members of TDE. j rock has been on the road for the last two years with tracks like Vice City, King's Dead, and his new track Win. Some would argue he's one of the weaker members of TDE, but I believe he holds his own. Out of everyone on this list, I feel like Gold Leak makes the most chill ass music. He makes music you can play at a party, he makes music you can chill with your friends, with your lady, all that type of shit. His music is overall just chill and it's relaxing to hear. It's very soulful. It's kind of like putting Chance the Rapper, Anderson Peck, and Kendrick Lamar's eye and putting it in a fucking blender and mixing it and that's Gold Leak. It's just very chill, soulful, jazzy type music. I honestly believe in my mind that if you play Gold Link around anybody, anybody can fuck with it because it's very hard to dislike. And yeah, some can argue, yeah, Gold Link comes off as more of an R&B artist, but he does rap a lot in his songs, so I had to consider him a rapper for this. Dave East is a hip hop head's wet dream. He kept the XXL 2016 from being a complete fucking shit show. Davies brings you that old New York style of hip hop while also mixing it in with the new. Some argue Joey Badass does this, but I think Davies does it slightly better. But along with Joey Badass, Dave East is the embodiment of New York style hip hop. Yet another underrated rapper, Vince Staples is always brought up in the topic when you're talking about new school rappers. He brings that raw, uncut Cali style of hip hop. You can kind of hear a Dre, Snoop Dogg type influence within his music. Jane Smith is a rapper. When he first came out, I thought he was kind of corny. I really couldn't connect or link with him. I, I couldn't get with the thought of him being a rapper. It just didn't resonate with me. But over the years, he has improved a lot, especially with the album he released last year. When he first started out, I really, you know, I never understood the subject matter in his raps. I thought it was fucking weird and nonsensical and shit like that. Like fake deep and all that shit. But then he started to change the subject matter in his raps and shit. And I started to link with it more and connect and understood him better. Overall, I feel he's become more than just an actor turned rapper. Big Crit is an underappreciated rapper. I don't think we really appreciate the shit he drops enough. Big Crit has and is always dropping gems, and I think they go underlooked. But if you talk to a lot of extreme hip-hop heads, Big Crit is always in their top 10. And that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and comment your favorite rappers of today's generation or comment anybody you think I've missed. And if you haven't seen the first video, click the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for updates and news on upcoming videos. I'm Shackamania, and I'm out this motherfucker. Rain, corn, money, ballin', two, K, B, ballin', phone, ring it, O's, call it, late.